This is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can prevent the people that you share documents with from copying, printing, and downloading the files that you share with them. Sometimes this is something that can be useful depending on what type of document you're sharing with others. And so I'm going to take a document that I've already created that's in my Google Drive and I'm going to select the share option and then type in the name of the person with whom you want to share the file and I will just send it to myself. And in order to enable the option to prevent printing, copying, and downloading of documents, you need to select the advanced text towards the bottom right hand corner of the share with others window. And at the bottom of that new window that pops up, you will see the option down here to disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. So this is an option that you would have for people who only have privileges to comment and view documents. Editors will not be excluded from this. So now I'm going to click disable options to download, print and copy for commenters and viewers. And before I do that, I need to change myself to a viewer. And note that it says that I need to make changes that need to be saved. And so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to send this file to myself. And now I'm going to open up another browser window. And as you can see, the document is now in my shared with me folder. Now I'm going to open this file so that you can see if I have the ability to print. So as you can see with this document that I've sent to myself, I don't have the option to print it. I do have the option to add it to my drive, but I can't make a copy and I can't download it. And so that's how you can prevent others from printing, downloading, or copying files that you send to them. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel so that you can be updated when I publish videos in the future. And also leave a comment if you have a question that you want me to feature on this channel and visit my website at therabbitpad.com.